As we'd like to say here on the channel, one of the great things about Sublime Text is how customizable it is. Now recently someone asked me if there was a package available for Sublime that would allow you to download remote files from a web URL to be able to look at them and edit them from directly within Sublime Text and have them be deleted if you close the tab and don't otherwise save them. And there isn't such a package that is readily available, but in just less than two hours time I managed to write something that will do what this user would like to see. So today let's take a look at that. Hello fellow Sublime Text Fanatics, Odan here, and welcome to this week's video where we are once again answering your questions. Specifically, we're going to be answering this question right here. Now, this is actually something that was asked of me in a Discord, in a private Discord message, and then the user followed up by creating a comment here on the YouTube channel. And essentially what this user would like is uh, some sort of package that would be able to allow you to open a remote URL of some description to download the file to allow you to edit it locally. And uh, closing the tab without otherwise saving the file will cause that file to be deleted and disappeared out of your temporary folder. But otherwise, you could edit the file to your heart's content, copy it, save it locally and do whatever you like. Now truth be told there is kind of a package that sort of does what this user wants but not really. There's a package called file downloader. I've linked it down in the description of this particular video and what that can do is actively download a remote URL to your system but it doesn't do it into a temporary directory. It's more for getting a remote resource locally to your system and then also perhaps updating links to remote files which still could possibly be useful but not what this particular user asked for. If you'd like to see a video about this particular package let me know down in the comments section below. Now because there wasn't a readily available package, at least not one that I could easily and quickly find for this particular user, I spent a couple of hours this afternoon and worked up an example package that fulfills most of this user's requests. Doesn't fit exactly 100% of the bill due to UI differences between what you might expect and what's possible with a package. And keep in mind that this is only a couple of hours of work. There's still more work that could be done to make this even better and flesh out all those features. But this really does point out how easy it is to get something like this working. And here it is available right here on GitHub. This link is down in the description of the video and if you would like to use this package or play along all you have to do is copy this URL right to your clipboard, swap on over to Sublime Text where you're going to open the command palette and use the package control add repository command. Paste in this particular URL and hit enter and that's all you have to do. Now you can go ahead and use the package control install package functionality from the command palette and when the list pops up look for URL downloader, hit enter and it is installed and we are ready to proceed with demonstrating what this thing can actually do. And what can it do? Well, if we were to look into the command palette, we can see there's quite a few entries in here for URL downloader. Uh, this is a full-fledged package for what it is. There's options in here for viewing the readme to give you a little bit more information about what this package actually does and how to use it, which I would always recommend taking a look at if, if there's any package that has a readme. You want to give that a little look-see. We also have the ability to look at settings, uh, look at key bindings, and also this command, the meat and um, potatoes of this thing, which is to be able to actively open and download and edit a URL. And choosing this will cause the command palette to ask us what URL it is that we would like to open. And we can go ahead and type in anything we like in there that's a valid URL. That includes file URLs if you have something that's local on your system, although you could just open those files. And this will also open not just web pages, but also images as well if you give it a valid URL. And as soon as you pick one, the file will be downloaded and displayed. And if this file is downloaded into the temporary directory of your system, wherever that happens to be. Syntax highlighting will be applied if the file that you download has an extension that Sublime knows how to do syntax highlighting for. And if we just close this tab, the file will be deleted from disk. So if you wanted to save this and keep it around, you'd need to manually save it or save as it to another location or copy the text out, whatever you might like to do. Uh, but not only can we do this from the command palette, but we can also do this from the context menu as well. And to do that, you just need to right click on anything that looks like a URL. And if it is, there'll be an option in the menu that allows you to open such a file, uh, such as this one. Now, in this particular case, we don't get any syntax highlighting for this, and that's because this file doesn't have a known extension, so it doesn't know exactly how to syntax highlight this. But the same thing still uh, remains. And also, if you'd like, you can also do this via the selection as well, because if we can see here, if I right-click on this, this isn't detected as being a valid URL, but if we were to select the text and then right click on it, now it is and we can open it and get at the content for this thing. 
Now, the usage of being able to do this with a selection is controlled via settings in the package. There's also a couple of other settings. You might notice that down in the status bar, you'll see in any file that's opened in this manner what URL was used to open it. You can turn that on and off if you would like in the settings as well. And also, there's a setting for what the default protocol should be if one's not specified. Let's take a look in the settings. You'll get some more information about that and exactly how those work. Now, of course, as we can see here, even if there's not a package that's available for Sublime, with a little bit of development work, you can usually customize it to do exactly what you'd like to do. Now, of course, package development isn't for everybody, but if that happens to be something that you're interested in and you want to get more into doing something like this, you might be interested to know that if you look in the description of this video, you'll find a link to the Plugin 101 playlist, which will teach you how to become a package of plugin author in Sublime Text. You can also join me on live streams here on the channel every Monday and on Twitch every Wednesday and Friday. Those are linked down in the description as well, where we'll probably be going over this package and tweaking it up and making it even that much more special. Hope to see you there, if not in the next video. Either way, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.